Hello students and grown-ups. Today we are going to do another crayon activity and we're going to color with control. Let's see what you're going to need. For today's activity, you are only going to need crayons, some blank paper, any kind of paper, or if you have a coloring book or a coloring page, you can use that too. The first thing I want to talk about is this little kindergarten coloring chart. And it kind of can give you a guide on where you need to be. So maybe you haven't colored very much and you're still learning how to control your crayon and you have coloring that looks like this and it has uh, lots of white spaces and it's outside the lines. So that means you should keep practicing. But maybe your coloring looks like this. Maybe it still has some white spaces, but it's in the lines, and that means you're getting there. And maybe your coloring looks like this, where there's no white spaces and it's in the lines. And something that you can also think about too is do your colors make sense? But sometimes it's fun to choose interesting colors and sometimes it's fun to use more realistic colors so that's something you have to decide about but if your coloring is look looks like this then you got this so keep this in mind when you're coloring and you're learning to control your crayons today i'm going to be coloring this picture and this is a picture i printed off my computer and if you're able to do that, that's fine. Or maybe you have a coloring book at home that you can use, and that's fine too. And if you don't have a paper printed or a coloring book, you can draw a picture and then color it in. I'm going to color in this picture as neatly as I can, which means I probably have to take my time. I cannot rush if I am coloring with control. So I'm going to try to fill all the white spaces, stay in the lines, and use colors that make sense. coloring my picture and I really took my time and I tried to make sure I stayed in the lines and got all the white spaces and sometimes you know I look at my work and I say oh I missed a little bit I should go over that again you can look at your work too and decide if it's just perfect or you did your best work and if you didn't you can fix it up I want to compare this one that I colored very neatly and controlled my crayon with this one where I just did some silly scribbles. Now this one took me a long time and this one I just quickly scribbled on it and it doesn't look very good. And take a look at the two and, and, and think which one would you hang up on your refrigerator if you had to choose? I would choose this one as much nicer um, and speaking of refrigerators, some grown-ups love to get your artwork and put it on their refrigerator. So a, a beautifully colored picture could be a really nice gift to give someone. And if you color any nice pictures and you're able to have a grown-up take a picture of it and email it to your art teacher, they would love to see it and I would love to see it too. So. If you can do that, that'd be great. And from now on, I hope that you take the time to control your crayon. And, um, and I hope you have fun coloring.